Get the f out! All right, everybody, welcome to episode three of Rated T, the show that takes a look at Tacoma's connection to the silver screen. So today we are talking about the 2017 movie Heartthrob, starring Keir Gilchrist, Aubrey Peoples, and then a uh, familiar face to Washington cinema fans, Peter Facinelli, mm -hmm. who was um, Dr. Cullen in Twilight. All right, joining me today is Zach Adams. Um, we worked on a couple uh, film projects together, so super talented. Happy to have you, man. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. Uh, it's always a pleasure anytime we can get in front of the camera, behind the camera, and kind of talk shop and... Talk film and talk Tacoma. Yes, sir. Overall plot, how would you describe it? Uh, yeah, so I think the story kind of focuses around uh, Henry, who is a recently graduated uh, high school student who planned to attend MIT in the fall. He develops a love interest for Sam. And then, um, you know, some things start to surface, uh, such as Henry's jealousy, and it just kind of snowballs from there, right. eventually leading to uh, Henry going on a killing spree. Yeah, snowballs pretty fast. Yeah, snowballs pretty <laughs> fast. Okay, so overall thoughts of Heartthrob, what do you got? Oh boy, uh, I'm just going to keep it nice and say uh, this was not my favorite film. Yeah, yeah, yeah looking at the trailer and then seeing like a lot of Tacoma in this, you know, naturally get excited. Right. And then you watch it and it's just, it was a little disappointing. And the best way I can put it is it's like a lifetime movie that got slipped through the cracks somehow and got some legitimate actors tied to it. Right, right. But overall, unfortunately, it was a little disappointing. This film kind of fell short in the character development and at times, like, the theme was kind of hard to pick up on. All right, so even though we weren't the biggest fans in this movie, let's take a look at some of the good. The music, I thought, was pretty good. Yeah, too. there was that was definitely um, a highlighted point I had in my notes. I would also say there are some shots in this which are beautiful, I think. Like, that oh, shot of sure. her in the roller rink was yeah. pretty good. Rainier, like, at the very end when mm -hmm. they're on top of the parking garage. Also, when they're at Sunnyside Beach Park during sunset. Right. That was a really good shot, too. So, let's talk about some of the bad. The biggest uh, bad part of this movie, I think, was the story, unfortunately. Right. A lot like, of holes. A lot of holes. Yeah. And to me, the biggest one is you never really get a motivation for why Henry is, like, killing. Or it, like, at least... The uh... jump from you know, overbearing mother to him murdering people. <laughs> right, right. And if we do get an explanation, it doesn't seem to fit, like, like, why, like his mother doesn't want them together, so he threatens to kill her. I could kill you right now. I could use that mug. Like that, it just seems yeah. like a very, very broad stretch of the imagination. Right, because his mom doesn't want them to be together, right. and she wants Henry to have like a more practical major right so those two things like the jump to killing is huge because those are things that everyday teenagers <laughs> deal with like if I killed my mom every time she told me right yeah to yeah, do yeah. something that I should be doing anyway right I would have murdered my mom a lot of times yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of parts of this movie that seem to give like the absolute wrong message. Like right. at the very end, this is after Henry has killed multiple people, <laughs> killed himself, she confesses her love for Henry. It kind of romanticizes like everything that he's done. Yes. You saw me in a way that nobody else ever has. I love you, Henry. All right, so now let's talk about just some of uh, the weird parts of this movie. Aren't necessarily bad, it's just kind of, huh? And the first thing that comes to mind for me is, do you remember when the mom was in the Slayer shirt? At the oh, yeah. <laughs> she was like dressed in like typical soccer mom clothes right. the whole movie, and right. then all of a sudden she's in a Slayer shirt. Right, yeah. There were so many candles. A ridiculous amount of candles. Yeah. Just all the time. Like, like, fire hazard amount of candles. Yeah. Like, like 
it went from setting the scene to kind of just like here's every candle that the city of Tacoma had ever sold ever. So to me, probably the worst slash weirdest part is at the very end when uh, Henry is like fighting with Sam and his mom. Like they're obviously on the second floor, mm-hmm. and then Sam tells his mom to hop out the window. And it's so obvious that she goes onto like a platform where it's not even the second floor, but just walks out. <laughs> yeah, you very clearly see her just walk out the window. <laughs> and then the scream they used for it. Oh. Like a Wilhelm scream would have been better than what they mm. used. All right, so the tie to Tacoma portion of this movie. So the producer of this movie was this guy named Mark Myers, um, who graduated from Wilson High School in Tacoma. When he saw the script, you know, he said he imagined this, you know, being shot in Tacoma. Mm -hmm. So he got to come back to his own hometown. It was shot pretty much entirely in Tacoma, Mm -hmm. which is awesome. So, you know, applause for that. Um, First thing is, they start off pretty much at Sunnyside Beach Park. Right. Um, and I was kind of uh, surprised to learn, like, we've, you and I, yeah. have shot a movie <laughs> at Sunnyside Beach. Yeah, the exact same bench. Literally the same bench yeah. we shot a short film mm-hmm. at. There was also Titlow Beach. The part where Henry kills uh, Bailey, I think his name yep. is, mm-hmm. when he's, like, taking a piss out in the water, you see, like, the abandoned pier... So there's also Marsha's Silver Spoon, which is featured heavily. I would say probably about like 20 minutes. A yeah. good portion of the mm-hmm. film because she works at Marsha's Silver Spoon. Right. Um, and it's in it's on South Tacoma Way. And, you know, I'm always happy to see South Tacoma uh, in a movie. Unfortunately, it was a terrible movie, <laughs> but still I was happy to see it. And there's a lot of shots of the Narrows Bridge. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, shots from her house uh, with kind of uh, the Narrows Bridge in the background. So whenever they go to Woodland Community College, right. that's Bates Technical College. Okay, yeah, I was trying to pinpoint that, um, but I was having a little trouble. I was like, that's not stadium. I had a look at that one. I didn't recognize it immediately, um, but it's Bates Technical College in downtown Tacoma. Have you ever mm. driven by it? Yeah, all the time. So also featured is the Tacoma Police Station on mm-hmm. South Pine Street, which right. is right by uh, 38th Street. Mm-hmm. So Tacoma Mall. Yeah, very close. Mm-hmm. And there are a couple shots in this movie which aren't Tacoma. And the first mm-hmm. one I noticed was what looked to be Gig Harbor. It was like some restaurant right. or something, outdoor mm-hmm. seating in Gig Harbor. The roller rink. That's in Puyallup. It's the King Family Fun Center. You ever been there? Oh, uh, okay. I haven't. I've driven by yeah, it, though. I haven't been there. One thing I do have to commend this movie on is I didn't see any shots of Seattle. Right, yeah. which is... A rarity. Rare, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for once, there was no, you know, Gasworks Park up in Seattle. Right. Or, you know, no random shot, the Space mm-hmm. Needle or something. All right, so overall, how would you rate this movie out of 10 stars? Uh... Yeah, I would say it's probably three and a half, four stars. And it was so awesome being able to see uh, Tacoma Showcase in this way. But this movie just hit, just missed on too many uh, key points and just failed to drive home a lot of the plot and themes for me to give it anything higher. Yeah, and I would have to give it a two out of ten, unfortunately. <laughs> It's disappointing more than everything. Right. You know, I feel like a disappointed parent. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Right, and, right. Yeah. So it, the premise was there. Uh, but, yeah, unfortunately, I'd have to give it a 2 out of 10. So right. this is another movie I would only recommend if you're from Tacoma. Right. And if you just love seeing Tacoma yeah, on yeah. Netflix. <laughs> All right, everybody. That wraps it up for episode three. We covered Heartthrob, the 2017 movie, and I want to thank Zach for joining me on this episode. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. I'm always uh, down to talk some film stuff in Tacoma. Definitely. All right, everybody. Take it easy.